dogs out. Who let the dogs out? In August 2016, Amanda and I had the privilege to join a few other amazing couples to go to India. A first impression of India was just the beauty of the people. The children are beautiful. Also, when you talk, they are moving their heads like this. That means that they are happy to be talking to you. <laughs> right, Brian? Brian loved it when I did this with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have the opportunity to meet one another, to go encourage one another, to spread the word of God to spread his love to the world. There was four things that our goal to do there was. We went to a pastor's conference with about 25 different men who were pastors in India of various Assemblies of God churches, and we got to speak to them. But I got to see Pastor Kirk in a different light, which I thought was cool. And you might see some pictures that I took of he and his dad were uh, handing out books to the pastors and giving them big hugs. And I just, I, that sticks with me, the joy of the Lord that was you know throughout that place and then we met with um, the women who are part of what they call their their crisis women's shelter women who are trying to get back on their feet trying to keep their children trying to keep their families together and just met and encouraged them in parenting basic parenting fundamental skills and just who they are as an individual and that um, they are precious in the sight of god so we uh, worked with the children in some of the schools. The classrooms were probably the size of some of our bedrooms and just very small. You have 50, 40 to 50 students on benches with a table in front of them all together in these classrooms. So um, very small classrooms, yet they still had that great desire to learn. The children would get it. They'd work together in pairs to get it and they'd be, ma'am, ma'am, teacher, teacher. And, and they'd say, see, see. And, and you give them a high five and say, good job. But these two little boys were working together on theirs. And they turn to each other and they give each other a high five. It's like, that's what it's all about. Not about the competition, but the teamwork together. This particular little girl, her name is Pretty, and um, I just fell in love with her. She writes poems and she wrote this for me and it says, if brother forget you, if sister forget you, if friends forget you, I and Jesus don't forget you. Yeah, the main reason we ended up um, going there in the first place was the, um, the, the church seed that we planted there. We were funded a church that um, they built and our intention was to go there and dedicate it. It's pretty cool to think about that there's a church in India off the beaten path, kind of in the middle of this obscure area. There's a church building there with hundreds of people that love Jesus that now have a place to come and worship Him and learn more about Him. Pastor Kirk went over and they had a plaque and it was covered by a, a little white sheet. And as he pulled that over, it was just amazing because it had our, you know, that it was a dedication of the church from Brandon Valley Assembly of God. So when we were sitting in the back of the church worshiping with them, I couldn't understand any of the words because it was in a different language, but you could still, like, you just feel the Spirit of God in the room and see it on the people's faces as they worship God. There's just so much potential there. They have big dreams for um, ministering to children, possibly um, orphanage. orphanage, ministering to women. just gave me a sense that God is everywhere. To know no matter where you are, God is there. God is present and His people are everywhere and He's just calling so many unto Himself. Those people um, are so precious. They have precious hearts and I can, I can understand why Jesus wants them so much. We can, you know, see the kingdom of God in the whole earth that it's bigger than just who we are in Brandon, but we have an impact uh, all the way across the world that will last for eternity and change generations. Yeah.